Hi friends, it's me, Brett. I wanted to give you some tips for today's class so you can work a bit deeper on your flexibility and alignment as we cycle through these postures. When we do our triangle pose, think about having legs of steel penetrating the earth beneath your mat with your legs. You'll feel an even deeper stretch along the backs of the legs if you do this. Always look down and double check that you're in the correct alignment, front heel bisecting back arch. All right, let's do this. Come to a comfortable seat. You can have the palms just face up in the lap. Close the eyes, lift the heart. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Close the eyes and just invite in a long, slow, deep breath. Find yourself really sitting here in the sanctuary of your practice. Extending the exhalation, lengthening the inhale. Just taking a moment to iron out your breath. And take your right hand to the floor, the left hand up and over for a nice deep side body stretch. So you can just mirror me, spin the heart towards the ceiling, breathe really fully into those top side ribs and the side waist. And then take your left hand all the way behind you right hand to your knee and find just a little gentle twist at the other side. And pull and hold the knee, draw the navel in for support. Good, and then lateral side bend on this side. So left hand down, right arm up and over. Spin heart to ceiling, maybe press down into the left palm that's on the floor. And this time right hand comes all the way behind you, left hand to the knee. Find that little gentle twist, pull the navel in, lift through the heart, lengthen the back of the neck. Come back to center, interlace the fingers, just make some figure eights, giving some love and nourishment to the wrists before we put some pressure on the hands and then rock forward into an all fours position. Inhale, open the chest, find your cow pose and exhale, round, look at your navel, lengthen your tailbone towards the space between your knees. Do this one or two more times. Noticing how different the body is day to day, morning to morning. And then pressing back into a downward facing dog. It's okay if the heels don't touch the ground. You can pedal through the legs, stretching the back of one leg and then the other. Spread the fingers wide so see pie slices of color between each finger work to get the knuckles and the whole palm really actively pressing into the floor good and then step or carry it's okay if you need to carry it the right foot forward plant the left heel look down make sure your front heel is bisecting your back arch and grow into a triangle pose so you're going to take your right hand Onto your right shin and grow the left arm up, rotating your heart towards the ceiling, enjoying the stretch. And you may need to hold up above the knee, that's fine. Let's take three more deep breaths here.
Imagine your feet are like little vacuum cleaners sucking up the mat so the arches of the feet lift up. You engage through the legs. Good, and then let that left hand pull you all the way up. Turn the toes in, right toes in, left toes out, and set up for your triangle on the second side. So a hand comes to the shin. And again, we'll spend three to five breaths here. Think of finding length on the underside waist, that left side, drawing the shoulders down the back. Legs are strong, so lower body is really turning on, press down through the toes and the heels. Those are your anchor points, sucking up through the arches of the feet. And the upper body is really soft. You're filling it with breath, spinning chest to ceiling. Beautiful. Come on up. And let's take this into a balancing pose next, our tree. So just walk the feet together. Pull the right knee into the chest, and this might be a good place for you to just stay and play with your balance. Otherwise, take the sole of foot onto your ankle, and if that's too much, you can place the toes on the floor in a little kickstand and bring the hands to prayer. So you're going to be here or here, or some of you, if you have been practicing a long time, you might put the foot above the knee. We're just avoiding the knee joint. Find a focal point, a place to gaze at in front of you. Wherever you are, press that standing leg into your foot and feel your foot kind of nudge back on that standing leg. So you're hugging everything into the midline. Two more breaths. Pull the knee back into the chest and let it go. If you need to shake it out, that's fine. We'll bring this into the other side. So pull the left knee in. Again, you can play here for a beat or two. And then foot to ankle or toes on floor. Hands to prayer. And where you have the foot might change. It's changing over the course of the series, I'm sure. So you experiment with different things. Think of the tailbone lengthening and dropping down. Chest lifting, steady gaze. Good, let that go when you need to. Pull the knee in, shake it out, and just come to lie down on your belly. So just lie down. Have the fingertips directly under the shoulders, forehead to the mat. Engage your legs. You're going to lift your kneecaps up off the ground for our back bend in today's practice. Once the kneecaps are lifted, lengthen your tailbone towards the heels. And then imagine the crown of the head moving forward on your sticky mat. And then lift up into a little cobra. Squeeze the elbows together. And we're just going to hold and breathe here. Dip the chin so the back of the neck is long. You should feel your low back muscles turning on might feel a little uncomfortable. You can build up the amount of time that you hold here over the course of the series. Just long, slow, steady breaths. Think of the inner thighs lifting, pinky toes spinning down. If you need to come out of it, just come out and then inhale and come back in. Otherwise, we're doing the static cobra hold to really strengthen the muscles of the low back. These often get overlooked in our yoga practice. Or just when you're ready, come down, forehead to mat, and just turn over. Once you've rolled over, bend the knees, place the soles of the feet on the floor. Extend your arms, make sure your middle fingers are touching the heels. Bend the elbows then, find your little robot arms, and just lift the pelvis and the seat up. Imagine you're squeezing something between your inner thighs so your knees don't go out to the left and right of the room. This is our modified bridge pose. Just take a couple long, slow, deep breaths here.
powering down through the feet, especially the big toe. Good, and then letting that go. And let both legs go long. Feet are a little bit wider than the hips. Palms alongside the body. And just settle in for Shavasana, just resting now as long as you can here. I hope you feel more grounded and centered. And from my heart to yours, namaste. If you want to dive even deeper into flexibility and alignment in a longer flow, I highly recommend this class next. Enjoy, and I hope to see you on the mat tomorrow for yin yoga and day 18 of our challenge.